Now, because most people use Windows for their operating system and not Mac OS, I am going to show the Windows method of looking up the default gateway instead of the Mac OS method. To view how to look up your default gateway using Mac OS, I've made an alternative video that you can find by referring to a link that I've left in the notes below this video. In the search box, type out the word command. You'll see the command prompt come up. Uh, click on it. Type in the word ipconfig. The spelling is in the description below this video. Press the Enter key. And here's where you will find your router's IP address, in other words, your default gateway. Now open a web browser. In your web browser's URL bar, input the default gateway that you looked up earlier. Your router has a username and password. If you never previously set up your username and password, then you'll have to look up the defaults in your router's manual or on the manufacturer's website. From here, you'll have to go searching through your router settings to find where your network's active IP addresses are logged. Keep in mind that every router is different, so I can only show you how it worked with the router I use. For those of you in Canada, this is just the standard router provided by Rogers Cable. Here it is. Just copy the IP address to your computer's clipboard for later use. We are now going to use some software that allows us to use our Raspberry Pi from any Windows PC. If you are using Mac OS, watch the video I've provided called Turn On Raspberry Pi VNC Using SSH on the Macintosh. To watch, just click the link I've left in the description found below this video. First, we are going to download PuTTY. To do so, open your web browser. Up in the URL bar, type the web address putty.org. For your reference, I've provided the web address in the description below this video. From here, you can download a program called Putty. Putty will allow you to connect to your Raspberry Pi using SSH. We have a number of choices in regards to what version of Putty we would like, but for our purposes, we should download regular Putty. Just click Run to open the Putty software. Paste in the Raspberry Pi's IP address that we found earlier, back when we went searching through the router settings. Afterwards, click Open or hit the Enter key. If the Putty Security Alert window appears, just click the Yes button. To log in, Input your Pi's username. Since I never changed my Pi's username, it will be just the default, which is just Pi. Afterwards, press the Enter key. Input your Pi's password. If you have left the password as the default, then your password will just be Raspberry. Keep in mind that you will not see any characters appear on the screen as you type out the password. After you have typed in your password, press the Enter key. You may have noticed that I've been using IP version 6 addressing throughout this video, because that is what my router provided me. You will be needing the IP version 4 address shortly. Now that we are connected to our Pi via SSH, we can easily look up the Raspberry Pi's IP version 4 address. To look up the Pi's IP version 4 address, type out the following sudo forward slash sbin forward slash ifconfig. Afterwards, hit the Enter key.
you will find the IP version 4 address here. Just copy and then paste it into the notepad for later reference. Once I get the IP address written down, the next step is to turn on the Raspberry Pi's VNC server. VNC will allow us to use our PC's keyboard with the Pi. Type in the text sudo raspi-config at the Pi's SSH prompt. Afterwards, press the Enter key. Use the arrow keys found on your keyboard to scroll down to Advanced Options. Once selected, press the Enter key. Scroll down and select VNC. Afterwards, press Enter. Select Yes, and then press the Enter key. Press Enter again. You can now close the SSH window. Open a web browser. Up in the URL bar, type in the address realvnc.com, and then press the Enter key. Download VNC for Windows. Keep in mind that if you are using macOS, you can download the macOS version of VNC from this website as well. I've tested their macOS software with the Pi, and it seems to work quite well. As for the VNC software that is built into the Mac operating system, it does not seem to work well with the Pi. Run through the setup wizard. Once you have run through the setup wizard, just type VNC into the Windows search box. You will see the VNC application show up in the search results. Click on it. Now get that IP version 4 address that you looked up earlier. Paste it in, and then press Enter. Agree to all the security warnings. You can click the Scale to Fit option to make your Raspberry Pi screen full size. That's it. You can now use your Raspberry Pi without a keyboard.